Networking Tips for Biotech Professionals How to Connect with Top Scientists You must have heard the saying that your network is your net worth. Human nature is actually to build connections. We are best suited to work together and also collaborate with the people who are around us. How do you think our ancient ancestors survived all those years? So the process of working on people's skills and building a network is very important for both new biotech and pharma graduates and also for the people with long established careers in this field. In today's video, we are going to see how networking can help biotech folks to be successful. The first tip is network outside the space. The most important part of networking is being able to professionally represent yourself. The people who are in biotech and pharma, you would be knowing that they require uh, to have a heavy emphasis on knowledge. Knowledge in all aspects like biology, chemistry, pharmacokinetics and many more topics. So this can be a lot to handle, especially when you are in the beginning of your career. While it is very important to have some technical knowledge and background, but first make sure that you can talk present and make conversations with professionals not in your industry. So you have to emphasize the broad knowledge areas and practice some simple explanations. So ask yourself, could I expl simply explain my PhD thesis or my project proposal to someone not from my field like a real estate agent in a way that they can understand? So if you can master networking and interacting with non-industry people, then you will be easily able to transition your skills to industry related connections. Even a local or social gathering or even your uh, college or schools alumni meets, they are great places to start with this small uh, habit. Okay. Now next tip is get out there. Utilize industry events. See once you have sharpened your skills in representing yourselves, you should get out there. Being in this field, there are a massive amount of conferences, trade shows, events, showcases and even in-person meetings in uh, this particular biotech and pharma field. So that way we are quite lucky. Take for example, uh, recently we had conduct, uh, uh, IISC Bangalore had conducted Immunocon, Biotechnica had live streamed on their channel, you must have seen. So like this, there are endless opportunities uh, to attend these events. Many such options are available. You can simply Google uh, your research area with conferences and it will result in a plenty of relevant events which you can attend. Even you can be subscribed to Biotechnica newsletter where uh, on a daily basis you will get notifications of any such conference or workshops or internships that, that come up. Okay, And most importantly, you should utilize LinkedIn to see when and where people are going to events and if possible make every effort to be in person at those events okay because nothing connects more than a face-to-face -face interaction you can even ask for referrals and introductions also so these industry events and conferences are a great way for direct interaction with biotech leaders whether it's an in-person or virtual conference, uh, every all of them, they offer opportunities to connect with industry leaders. You can attend presentations and workshops and also participate in discussions. When attending a conference, what you have to do slightly different is that you have to be sure to ask questions. Okay, introduce yourself to speakers and all the exhibitors and you have to also exchange contact information with other fellow attendees. By doing so, you are building relationships and you're expanding your network, okay? So have a clear goal in mind when you are attending these events. Do you want to learn? Do you want to seek mentorship? Or do you, do you want to just build, uh, build connections, right? So prepare intelligent questions or discussion points that will reflect your understanding of their work and the industry's challenges. And those type of interactions will leave a long lasting impression and it can also open doors for further communication. Next is very obvious, you have to be proactive online. Your social media footprint can be your most valuable tool for growing new connections. 
and of all the social media platform linkedin is one of the best for career networking so it's uh, uh, mostly you will already have a linkedin profile but what you have to do is you have to make the most of it so start posting articles that will be of interest to people in your field every few days or you can join relevant groups and be active in them so uh, your personal profile should be up to date that is the main important part if you have any work that's uh, you have done any project or attended any internship or some things which you have published probably online so everything make sure you link to that as well okay and other social media platforms you can also use like uh, twitter can be used to find useful industry news or to find more industry connections even facebook and instagram can help you network but just be sure to use them in a professional manner and uh, keep your personal life offline okay so the first point over here is repost and endorse share and promote content on linkedin uh, this is a very important way to show your support so whenever you come across an interesting post or article be sh be sure to share it with your network and add your insights and opinions okay additionally if you have had positive experiences working with someone then you should definitely take out the time to endorse them on linkedin uh, what is helping here you can build their reputation and strengthen your relationship with them okay then participate engage in discussions and debates uh, again this will help you demonstrate your expertise and build relationships so um, whenever uh, you are uh, coming across some uh, debate or discussion so you should engage in the con in the conversation okay so you can demonstrate your knowledge and expertise establish yourself as a thought leader and also you can build relation with your other professionals also don't forget to comment on the post Uh, take the time to read it thoroughly whenever any interesting post comes up and leave a thoughtful comment so again you are demonstrating your expertise and adding value to the conversation and people are seeing your name that way also uh, they will identify you commenting can help you stand out from the crowd and catch the attention of the biotech leaders or scientists then reach out so in addition to linkedin you can also reach out to the uh, scientists via email Uh, by sending a thoughtful and personalized email you can introduce yourself you can ex you can also express your admiration for their work if nothing but at least you can um, uh, you can give them some compliments that uh, it is very helpful for you and ask for advice or guidance so keep in mind that your email should be concise professional and uh, don't forget that they don't have much time so be respectful of that fact okay don't send a very long email while not everyone will respond those who do those who do, can offer valuable insights and open doors uh, to new opportunities so they will definitely respond so this is a very important part build relationships not transactions okay so when you are networking you should focus on building relationships first many people they will see networking as a one shot process like directly you are asking for a job or finding out about a job applying to it and that and it's the end okay but it is actually much more complicated than that new connections do not necessarily have a job just waiting for you however just like you they are also looking to meet like minded people who can help them in their line of work so you are both looking to find people who can trust who you can trust and who also benefit from a connection with you for years to come so the first time you meet someone your focus uh, needs to be on beginning a trustworthy relationship once you do that it will definitely lead to new jobs and other connections will all automatically gradually it will follow okay so praise and recommend build strong relationships through authentic praise so this is a very effective praise um whenever someone achieves something noteworthy take the time to reach out and offer your congratulations okay additionally if you have any positive experience working with someone then you can write a recommendation on linkedin again uh, like this you are showing your appreciation not only showing your appreciation but also building trust and establishing a positive relationship okay so remember that uh, career networking isn't a quick transaction it's a long and sustained relationship so like all relationship even here also you need to nurture and grow a connection you have made while networking 
So ideally a successful first connection will end up with exchanging of business cards or by following each other on LinkedIn. Okay, so that's why social media can be so important. So think of that as planting a seed of a new uh, relationship. Okay, so a seed will never grow unless it receives water and sunlight. Neither will a new connection if you forget to nurture it. So within 24 hours of making a connection, send a quick follow-up note. Follow up note. Say that it was great to meet them or briefly touch on the things you have spoken about and then tell them that you hope to speak more in the future. Okay. So above all, have patience and allow things to grow naturally. Never try to force the connection to be more than it should. You should always accept that some uh, contacts or connections will lead up, will end up going nowhere. Okay. Others can also lie, st uh, lie stagnant for a while before becoming active again. Networking can be very unpredictable, but every connection that you have could lead to a new role for you. Fine. So networking is uh, not just about making connection. It's about building no long-term relationship. So by focusing on the relationship building, you can establish trust, demonstrate your expertise and open doors to new opportunities. But be sure to regularly follow up and also stay engaged with your network and offer your support and assistance whenever needed. So like this, you can build a strong network that can support you throughout your career. Next is educational investment. Continued education is very important in a field as dynamic as uh, biotechnology or the life science network that you are in. So you can consider enrolling in advanced courses or even obtaining some certifications that are recognized in the field or industry. So this not only will enhance your expertise, but also show your commitment to staying uh, updated to the latest developments. Okay. So when you discuss these educational um, advancements that you have uh, received with the leaders or scientists, it can spark meaningful conversations. And that way you will both have some common grounds. Okay. So where can you get this? Again, you can be uh, enrolled to Biotechnica newsletter where constantly we will be uh, releasing the internships on advanced topics of this field, uh, especially which are research oriented. And uh, again, certification courses are also available on our site. So you can go through that. This will consider this as an investment. Not that you are uh, doing any time pass. So you have to dedicate yourself uh, time properly. You should dedicate yourself. Always represent your best self. See your name and the brand and your brand. They are the most important things to you and your success. So meet everyone with a smile. Truly listen to what they say. You have to build a positive reputation and you will be surprised to see how many people will come to you through a connection or a recommendation if you are someone that people like a lot. Then personal branding, you have to establish yourself as a brand because it will help you stand out from the crowd and enhance your career opportunities. Your personal brand should reflect your unique skills, values and expertise. So be sure you showcase your accomplishments. You, you should share your insights and opinion. So either you have to speak about it when you meet someone in person or you can post it online, your accomplishments and engage with others in the field. So like this, you can establish yourself as a, a thought leader and you can build a reputation as a trusted and respected professional. Another thing point is build trust. Become a go-to resource person. Fine, that is uh, one way you can do is to um, uh, for uh, by sharing your expertise and providing some valuable insights. So you can easily establish yourself as someone who people can go to for any specific topic or area. Okay, you additionally also be sure to follow up promptly and uh, follow through on commitments so that your trust and credibility is maintained. That is very important to maintain your personal branding. And lastly, don't expect too much. See, go into networking with the expectation of nothing. Most meet people with a genuine curiosity for their work. You may not, you may even find that often the best networking conversations may have nothing to do with your profession. So focus on getting to know people, not on trying to get something from them. So if you are at a conference, make an effort to go to every booth as you never know where the next career changing connection may come from. 
you could miss a great uh, connection if you are too picky or uh, you only want to talk to a certain uh, choosy uh, people so take that out of your mind okay so remember one thing uh, that for many people in the in this field biopharma or biotech industry the very thought of career networking makes them very uneasy some will dismiss it as a superficial practice which is uh, suited for the corporate world but others uh, may simply feel that you are too anti social or awkward or maybe introvert to be shaking hands and looking for new jobs so it is true that career networking can push some people out of their comfort zone uh, so if this is you you just need to revisit the way you look at the networking process once you realize the networking is about building and growing a mutually beneficial relationship you will not feel so stressed out about it you will find it more easier to make this professional connection so best of uh, all you will be able to find links to jobs that you never even knew about and your domain will definitely increase thank you for your attention see you in my next video